大家好，欢迎观看网易公开课 A Talk 英语访谈，我是主持人饶顺。今天我们很荣幸邀请到了法国的著名导演 Mr. Jean Han s a d 先生。Hi, Mr. Jean Han s a d Welcome, welcome to A Talk. 你好。啊，你好。Yeah. Likewise, likewise. <laughs> welcome to A Talk. Welcome to Netflix. It's a real honor to have you on the show. Thank you very much. I'm、How、very pleased to be here. I'm good. I'm good. Look, it's a sunny, sunny day here in Beijing. Very happy to be here. You, you come in the right timing. It's the best、really? time in Beijing. I always try to be at the right place in the right time. You know, that's my goal in life. Good, <laughs> good for you. Good for you. So, do you often come to China? I come quite often since a few years. Yeah, at least one or two times a year, I would say. Yeah. So, if you have to name one thing you like most about China, what is that? Well, I only know. To be honest, I only know the cities in China. So,、oh. and I most of the time I, I fly to Shanghai for 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 job for work,、uh -huh. and but、um, I I quite enjoy Shanghai. I must say, you know, which is a really trendy, very alive city.、Mm -hmm. So、uh, I love the city. Yeah. So, what brings you to Beijing this time? It's my last movie, The Odyssey.、Uh, we screened The Odyssey tonight here in Beijing, so that's why I came especially、um, to 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 present the, the movie tonight. Quand on est sous l'eau, on est dans la pesanteur la plus totale. En dessous, eh bien, un bleu de plus en plus profond. À découvrir. Qu'est-ce qu'on attend? Calypso. Tu vas pas acheter ça? Ah bah c'est déjà fait. Ce bateau, c'est notre rêve à tous les deux qu'on va réaliser. Pourquoi tu restes pas ici travailler avec nous? Les Américains partent à la conquête de l'espace et bien nous, nous partons à la conquête de la mer. À faire n'importe quoi pour du fric en fait. De quoi tu parles Tu vas pouvoir raconter une belle histoire, bien bidon, bien mégalo comme thème, hein Le commandant Cousteau et son équipage se, se lient d'amitié avec des animaux sauvages, mais c'est super, c'est génial, bravo. C'est les Clarisse. Je me souviens de la sensation la première fois que j'ai mis la, la tête sous l'eau. L'immensité, la pureté. Toutes ces années, quand je te regardais avancer comme ça, sûr de toi, ben je t'admirais. Parce que je t'ai tellement admiré, papa. Je t'aimerai toujours. T'es un bon parleur, Jacques. Plus de trente ans, j'ai découvert un nouveau monde. Je voulais le conquérir, alors qu'en fait, il fallait le protéger. Mais il est encore temps. I personally haven't seen the movie yet, but I have seen the trailer, the teaser of the movie. I have to say, it got me really excited、cool. about the film, and I can't wait to watch it. That's、movie. what we are looking for with the trailer. <laughs> great, great. So he's doing. So he's doing the proper job. It's cool. <laughs> great, excellent. So can you tell us a little bit about this movie? How did you get? Uh, involved shooting the film. Well, it's. I mean, it's first. It's about someone who is known over all over the world, but not not really in China.、Uh, mm -hmm. I know Cousteau, who is who, who was because he he died in the late last、uh, late eighties.、Mm -hmm. um, who was the last explorer on Earth, in fact, because he discovered the last unknown world,、mm -hmm. which is submarine world, underwater world. Yeah. And he has been the first man able to breathe underwater because to explore this new world. Mm -hmm. He created, he invented a machine which makes possible to breathe on the water, and we are still using this exactly the same kind of machine actually right now to dive,、wow. to scuba dive. So、Excellent. he had a great life of、uh, adventure, and this is the story I'm telling with、uh, this movie.、Mm -hmm. And of course, so he talks about adventure, but it also talks about families, of his relationship with his family,、mm -hmm. and it also talks about environment. Because it talks about nature and you know the way he has been one of the first great ecologists in the world in the last century. Yeah, yeah, and it reminds me of、um, a movie that I watched、um, recently related、mm -hmm. to the 
exploring the, the ocean, mm -hmm. the world. Uh, the movie is called In the Heart of the Sea. Yeah, of course. It, it directed by Ron Howard. Ron Howard, Howard yeah, 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 yeah. Starring Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, Hemsworth. Yeah, yeah, Hemsworth, yeah. yeah, yeah beautiful it's movie. A, it's kind of a, uh, a movie about Moby Dick. So is your film kind of related to that or totally different from that? No, it's totally different. First, because it's not the same period. It takes yeah. place in the, between 1948 and 1979. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's a biopic, you know, which is quite different because the, yeah. the man did exist. Uh, yeah. So I think it makes it a little bit different. And it's really about uh, who a man has discovered so this last unknown world. Mm -hmm. And so he realized years after years that we were destroying this world mm -hmm. and how he changed his mind about nature, about we, the way we're supposed to treat nature and we have to deal with nature. And that's what makes this life so interesting. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why I wanted to tell this story. I see, I see. And I can also sense it must be difficult to shoot such a film. Because in the trailer, I've seen some, first I have to say the, the, well, there are some scenes that are visually stunning. Yeah. But also I can bet it must be really difficult to shoot certain things under the water. Mm. And are even dangerous. I saw the actors swimming with sharks. They even got chased by sharks. Yeah, like yeah, <laughs> we, we've been swimming with sharks. I mean, it's, you know, the, the truth is it's fun. First, first of all, it's more fun than uh, difficult. But it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I mean, shooting this kind of movie is very difficult, but it's a great adventure. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, the actors, they, they learn to dive, to scuba dive. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we, they, we, they even shot with the sharks with us. Wow. Uh, so uh, that was something. It's a very, it's a very special experience to, to, to dive with sharks, with big sharks for 4.5 meters. Oh, you know, were the sharks friendly? They are quite friendly, in fact. You know, I mean, you know, everything. Everybody. Th I mean, I was. Uh, I was scared the first time I dived with sharks. Everybody's scared, you know. Yeah, but, but at the end, we are the predator. You know, uh -huh. we as human being. There is a very simple number in the world. Every year, mm -hmm. you have less than ten people killed by sharks. Accident. It happens. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, you have around one hundred million sharks killed because uh -huh. of the human. Yeah, so shark we shark. are much more dangerous than sh for sharks than sharks are dangerous for us. We should keep this number in mind. Yep. Yeah. 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 So yeah, don't be afraid of sharks. <laughs> it's fine. No, you yes, could yes. be afraid of mosquito, for example. Much more dangerous than uh -huh. the sharks. You know, mm -hmm. because it can make you sick and everything. And even with selfie, you have more people killed every year because of selfie, because they are really? on the edge of a bridge or something uh, like that, than yes. because of the sharks. So. Be careful with selfies, guys, so and, and take it easy with sharks. <laughs> <laughs> the shark is relatively quite safe. Exactly, it's quite much more safe than selfie. Excellent. <laughs> and I also realized um, the new film you, you filmed is kind of very different from the films you've uh, you yeah. made in the past. Yeah, there, there are no guns. It's my first movie without any guns. In Algeria, oh. I always have gunshots. Or, I mean, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, gunshots. Yeah. Ac action exactly. movies. I, Exa got, I got an impression after watching some of your films mm. like uh, Anthony mm. Zimmer mm. and uh, Zulu. Mm. Uh, the, the idea, I got the impression that you're really good at keeping the audience on the, on the edge of their seats. Thank you. Yeah, I, when sure. I was watching Anthony Zimmer, I was, I was keep guessing. I was guessing what's going to happen next. And when I thought I was guessing right, yeah. what's going to happen? <laughs> then you threw a curveball unexpectedly. <laughs> and then we, I realized, well, there's more to it than meets the eye. Yeah, that was my first movie. I, I had fun with this movie. And it was, it was really cool to, to, to work. I mean, for a first movie, I've been lucky to have Sophie Marceau as a yeah. star for my very first movie. Uh, yeah, so it was a very, very can we, nice Can we experience. kind of also call that kind of your, your style of filmmaking? So how, how do you define your style for filmmaking? Uh, I can't do it. I don't know. I, I do my best, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, my style, I, I mean, I don't know because, I mean, um, it's visual. I like, to, I, mean, I like to tell a story and mm -hmm. I like to tell a story visually, I would say. It's not through the dialogues. Uh, I mean, I have dialogues, of course, but I mean, I love to try to tell a story from a visual, visual aspect. Point, aspect, exactly. I see. Because mm. as, a, as a director, mm. I know you were making a film, there are many aspects you have to consider. Yeah. Right. And uh, what do you, in your opinion, what do you think is the most challenging or difficult aspect when making a film? The most, I think the key to make a film is to um, know, I mean, some, you know, it's, it's sometimes you have to, to, to stick to uh, something, to fight to get something, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to know where you have to change your mind. You know, the balance between, because mm -hmm. a movie, it's, it's all about human, about financing, about, you know, it's a, it's a very uh, messy process in a way, you know. Mm -hmm. So the balance between what is important and what is not so important in your movie is very important to have this kind of uh, judgment. And f to, 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 to have that, you need to have your movie, I would say, deep in your heart, in your soul. So mm -hmm. that means that on set, you can take decision very easily. And you should be able to take decision on set without any thinking about it. Because if it's part of yourself, if it's part of your yeah, heart, soul, and body, you know, uh, well, you always have the answer to the thousands of questions they will ask to you every wow. day. I, I can imagine that's, that's, that's the key. <laughs> that must be a really difficult job. It's and not, I don't know, it's not so difficult, you know. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, it is, but, um, you know, and the other, the other very important point is to be surrounded by people who are good people and talented people. Mm -hmm. And that makes things much, much easier. Easier for you. Yeah. <laughs> so you still mentioned that you have to really make sense of the messy process yeah. and also have the certain priorities of, of, of different things, what exactly. things to do, what things not to. Yeah, exactly. Is that kind of um, particular genre of films that you are uh, really fond of making? Well, my, my favorite genre, of course, is thriller. I mean, that's what I've done, you thriller, know. Yeah. yeah, everything which is around thriller. But I mean, I love many kind of movies. I can love alter movies. I can love thriller. I can love fantastic. And, I mean, I, I love when people are able to tell me stories and, and build a full world. I'm going to walk into this world and during two or three hours being totally surrounded by this world. Mm -hmm. it's, it's magical. When it, when it works, it's magic. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I mean, as a, as a spectator, I don't have a specific type. Now I know what I'm able to do and not able to do as a director, but uh, as a spectator, I'm very open mind. Very good. Can you tell us a little bit, uh, share some of your personal experience with us? How did you get involved in the movie industry in the first place? Because I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> just I boom, just like that. No, I mean that's the only answer. It's uh, that was my goal, and so uh, I've, I've worked hard for that. I mean, I didn't know anyone, I didn't have anyone in my family who was connected to that. So uh, I, I've really worked hard to 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 to, to succeed in this uh, business. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried to learn looking at movies, you know, learn how how to write, how to tell, how to direct. And um, this is the way it happens, you know. I mean, you know, I think you have many, you have quite a lot of people who have kind of skill, you know, uh, mm -hmm. talent. Yeah. But I think at the end, uh, it's nine, I would say it's 5% of talent and 95% of work, I think, you know, at the end. Wow. Uh, and so you have many people who have this, you, you need to have this 5% of talent, but I think you have many people, I know many people who have with five percent of talents, but what makes a difference at the end is to hold on, you know, and to even if it's difficult, to keep on going and to work a lot. Never let it go. Keep on doing e that. E exactly. For this business, for the movie business, is very important. Yeah. Great, great. Because yeah. I, I, I know uh, many of our audience are youngsters, young people. Yeah. They're really curious and interested in getting involved in the movie industry. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I think that that's a real secret, you know. And which is cool now is you can you can make a short movie with your iPhone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you want to tell a story, you don't you don't need to have a lot of money. You don't. Need, you know, I mean, you have your laptop, you have an iPhone. If you have a good story to tell, do it. You know. Mm -hmm. So that's very positive. Twenty years ago, to make a short movie, you needed to raise money. It was difficult, technician, blah blah, mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. No, you, you don't need that. I mean, to start, to learn, you know, just yeah, take your iPhone and, and start to shoot, start to tell stories, start to work with actors, even if these actors are your friends. Mm -hmm. And um, you will see, it's, you will learn a lot doing like that. Great. So you think right now it's a, it's a very good timing? For, yeah, for it's, a, it's a perfect to timing. But, but if you have nothing to say, if you don't have anything to say I to the audience, it will not work. It's like, I mean, writing a novel, you just need a piece of paper and a pen. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it doesn't mean that everybody will be able to write a great novel. That's the same with movies. It's just that you don't have this technical issue, this financial issue where, that we had before. Mm -hmm. uh, you still have it if you want to make a big feature of movies, of course. And, but, but just to start telling stories, 
and trying to do this job and to learn this job, it's cool that, I mean, you don't, you can do it with a very simple thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So Excellent. take your iPhone and shoot. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> or your, or, or your or China, uh, uh, what's the Chinese brand? I forgot. The uh, very famous uh, um, Huawei. Huawei, exactly. <laughs> take your Huawei and shoot. <laughs> Excellent. I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> I'm really interested. Yeah. In it. Um, can you share some of your future plans that you have for for the for your movies? I, I don't know yet. In fact, I'm right. I'm writing a few movies. I'm working on a few TV series. Also, also to be honest, because. Uh, I don't know what's happening exactly here in China, but in, in Europe, I mean, it, many, many very interesting things are happening with TV series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, so I have a few projects. Uh, I've launched a production company also in France, so we have a few, uh, as a producer, I also have a few projects. So I, I don't know what will happen next year, which is cool, you know, in a way, you know, we'll see. You know, it's, uh, uh, we'll see what happens, we'll see how the world goes and what, what I will decide to do. The unknown is what really makes it exciting. Yeah, also, you know, yeah, it can be exciting also not to have any plan. Yeah. I mean, when the, la the last two movies I've shot, Zulu and The Odyssey, I knew since four or five years that the two next movies would be Zulu, mm -hmm. with Alan de Bloom and Forrest Whitaker, and then The Odyssey. So now, not to have any plan, it's, a qu it's, it's something quite comfortable, you know, because sometimes it's difficult to know that, okay, the next three years, four years in my life, that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, you feel, you can feel locked in a way. So I think it's good to, it's good to keep kind of freedom and to see what's going to happen. I see. Always keep the mind It's a little bit Chinese in a way. Water, yeah. you know. You know, it, you have to ad adapt to the world and what's going what's to happen. Yeah, it's kind of like a quote from Bruce Lee, right? Yeah. Be like, <laughs> be like what? <laughs> it's like Bruce Lee, exactly. That's my Bruce Lee style. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. I love Hong Kong, that's why, you know. Oh. <laughs> Remembers the statue of Bruce Lee uh, in Hong Kong. Yeah, he likes water. <laughs> yeah, he likes water, right. Very flexible. Yeah, very flexible, yeah. Excellent, excellent. I'm not as flexible, to be honest. I mean, from a physical point of view, at least. Mm -hmm. mm. You're modest. You're modest. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you know how much about Chinese movies? What's the impression of Chinese movies? It's, I mean, the impression as I have, it's that it's very alive and many things are ha happening so mm -hmm. I have the feeling that we can see that and especially this year now you're able to do some kind of blockbusters like Hollywood is doing yeah, you know yeah. mm -hmm. which is cool like I think it's cool to have not only Hollywood but also to have a different point of view different culture yeah, able yeah. to do these kind of blockbusters and but you also do, I mean when I was talking about a touch of scene and just in care of these kind of uh, directors yeah. you have also Indie, indie type directors, you know, for f more fest Cannes Festival movie. And, uh, mm -hmm. So it's, a very, it's very rich, I mean, and a huge diversity uh, because you have a great audience also, you know, you have a yeah. huge market. So, of course, and with many, many theaters opening every year. Yeah. Um, so that's cool for the, it's, it's a cool place to make movies because of that, I think. Yeah, exactly. And there's one thing, like you mentioned, that uh, we got some really good indie uh, directors. Yeah. Um, the indie movies usually don't have very good box office returns. But the director who did direct blockbusters, yeah. the mainstream movies, usually can get a high box office returns. That's kind of balance, right? It's yeah, kind of but I mean, we need both. Balance. I think movies, you know, yeah. I mean, as, uh, one more time, as a spectator, I, I enjoy both. And I think it's cool. It's just that if you're making an indie movie and you know that your audience will be smaller, you have to make a cheaper movie. You know it, you know. It's, it, and it's fine with that, you know. You have to you have to be logical about the movie you're doing, you know, and you have to think about what are you doing, who are you talking to, is it, is it a huge international audience or a smaller audience? Mm -hmm. And both are, for me, both are interesting. And, and we need, in every country, I mean, movie, we need all these kind of movies anyway, you know. Mm -hmm. This is what makes cinema interesting. And live. And live, exactly, yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you so much for taking the Thank you very the much. Interview. It's Thanks. a real honor. Thanks a lot. Cheche. Uh, yep. Yeah. Cheche, right? Cheche. <laughs> yeah. Well, looking forward to seeing more exciting movies from you. And more Mandarin. Royals. Yeah. More Chinese. 
Next oh. time I will learn Chinese. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. and also hopefully you can get get more kind of cooperation with the Chinese yeah, movie industry. I'd love Chinese to. Chinese movie makers. I'd love to. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Everything black and white I'm a tortured villain in the Hitchcock film No end inside Living in fluorescent light I see every spider I feel every fiber that I try to hide Gotta keep up I hear the voices keep saying Give up. There's no such thing as failing
on the bar themselves And the cool kids ain't so tough Looking miserable in their cute big girls Cause they never left Gotta keep up I hear the voices keep saying Never give up There's no such thing as failing Looking miserable 